Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be servicing the Onan generator in our motorhome. This is a 2011 motorhome. The generator had 39 hours on it when we purchased it. So I've been a bit concerned because it hadn't been exercised um, like the manual says that it should be. We've run about 15 to 20 hours on it since we purchased it ran without any issues i think we're in good shape but uh, i did want to run it 10 or 15 hours before we serviced it and today uh, now that we're at about 50 hours uh, we're going to change the engine oil we're going to change the fuel filter and we're going to change the air filter the generator itself is the cummins onan rv qg 7000 and i'm not sure what the difference is between the QG, I guess that's Quiet Gold, uh, but it seems to have a slightly different logo on it than some. Uh, it's a 7,000 watt generator, has two 30 amp circuits on it. Everything looks to be quite easy. Engine oil is right here. Uh, this little petcock will get loosened and there's a tube that will allow the oil, the old oil, to drain right out the bottom. The oil filter you can see in white here, and you access it from underneath as well. Tiffin gives you a really nice uh, folder for all your manuals, uh, information you want to keep record of. So I'm going to look in here just to verify uh, that I bought the right oil. So in our operator manual here, it says to see page six for oil weights and when I get to page six um, yeah 10 W 40 will cover us from 0 to 80 degrees um, and 15 W 40 will cover us from 10 degrees to 100 degrees and we got the 15 W 40 um, so we are following specs it calls for two quarts so let's go back outside. For our oil, the Onan oil was extremely expensive. So I'm going with the uh, Rotella 1540. And this was a gallon. It was a lot cheaper that way, but it only calls for two quarts. And then I did get what they call the, call the green label parts genuine Onan oil filter. And the uh, part number that it called for with mine um, was right here number 122-0836 now the one that's on here is white and this one's black um, I'm not, I don't think he ever changed the oil in this but we're about to find out um, I had this wrench from one of our Honda vehicles and um, got lucky enough that it it also fits this filter all right Ethan you want to come down here and you're going to do it So I've cut this milk jug uh, to help me get up in here and I see it just so happens that this oil tube is um, directly over this brace. So that's going to make it a little bit of a challenge. I can get to the oil filter here so that'll be pretty easy. As usual they could have made something an inch longer it would have been a whole lot easier but uh, I've got the milk jug squeezed up into there and I'm going to open that petcock from the top so lefty loosey and we should have some oil start dripping into this milk jug but I've already made a couple of turns and don't have oil yet oh there we go all right now what we're hoping to see is about two quarts the oil's warm i can feel it we let the engine run about five minutes first we should end up with about half of this milk jug full if it had two quarts in it but it is not draining i'm beginning to figure out that i'm not very good or maybe not very interested in doing um a very polished how-to video um you know things don't go as planned so i may I may start changing my 
purpose with these how-tos. Um, anyway, so let me show you what's happening and some of the struggles I had. Here's the pet cock and it's backed all the way out and it'll stop. It won't, it won't fall out on you. Um, I used this jug. I cut the top out um, so that our oil would have a place to drain. The problem was this uh, hose that comes from this pet cock. There's a hose. The hose lets out right above a brace, a cross brace, and if it had been two inches longer, uh, I could have got around the brace easy and this would have been a dream. Instead, you saw I had to sandwich that uh, up into the generator and now it's still dripping just a hair, but uh, anyway, would have been a lot easier. Second thing, uh, the way this oil filter is in here, I wanna see if I can show it to you. Um, all right the white is the oil filter um it's so it's almost flush with the bottom so i can hardly get a wrench on there so i'm gonna have to wrestle with that just a little um and thirdly i discovered the uh exhaust pipe for the generator here hangs on this rubber um little rubber hanger and the rubber is just dry rotted and brittle and um, I'm gonna have to replace that we're gonna get this petcock closed back up you can see it turned about a dozen or more times now we're closed um, you know we can look down there and there is no more oil when it's full you can practically see the oil um, right up at the opening we're all done and it's back together again um, like I said I mean if you tuned in for a polished how-to show this is not exactly it but uh, this is a partially watch a guy services generator show um, <laughs> we um, got the oil changed a uh, couple of interesting things um, the oil measured full before I dumped but I only measured a quart and a half when I dumped. Second thing, the oil was dirtier than I thought it was, just from checking the dipstick. And I was disappointed to see an aftermarket uh, CarQuest oil filter on it. So, well, it does tell me that with 39 hours on it, he changed the oil at least once, probably the break-in change, but he put an aftermarket oil filter. You heard it just jump. That's the uh, heat pump about to come on upstairs. Anyway, handled that load pretty well. But uh, let's open up the compartment. She sounds pretty good. So let's go inside. I'm going to record this in the owner's manual. So the original owner didn't have much to record because he didn't use it all that much. But, uh, Everything I'm doing, I'm gonna get in the book. So, so we're gonna put in, today's date is what? Three days before Christmas. And we're gonna put um, generator, oil and filter, oil slash filter. On my windshield wipers here, the, um, the little hose that shoots the water up, um, there's a hose that goes from this nozzle, like this one is right here, it goes from this nozzle, it chases up here and connects here, and then it sprays out on the windshield. Well, you can see um, this one here dry rotted and broke off. It just so happens that I had this whole coil of hose from an irrigation project. I think it's the same size, we're about to find out. It is the same size. It'll uncoil us a couple of feet. Hoses replaced easy enough. Let's see if it works.